Hey everybody, it's Minister Lou. Hope you're having a good Tuesday today. Mine's been going pretty well. I've had a good Tuesday. Today we are reading out of the book of Psalms. We are on Psalm number 53. The caption of it says, David describeth the corruption of a natural man. And we're all corrupt. Not one of us are good. Let's begin, shall we? The fool hath said in his heart, There is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. So right here, David is saying that only fools say there's no God. And I could say that I was that fool once, a long time ago. A very long time ago. But I no longer live that life. God revealed himself to me. I know that he is true. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. So God's looking down from heaven to see if any understood that there A is a God and B, if they seek him. <laughs> Every one of them has gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge? That's a question. He's saying that these people are out here committing horrible, evil acts. Do they just not know that there's a God? Are they feigning ignorance? I mean, honestly, you can look at your own body and know that a supreme creator created us. We didn't just come from, the, you know, poof out of nowhere. Who eat up my people as they eat bread. They have not called upon God. There were they in great fear when no fear was, for God hath scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because God hath despised them. So he's saying, people, these workers of iniquity, God despises them. He is not pleased with them at all, and has put them to shame. Oh, the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when God bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. I can imagine the nation of Israel would be glad being released from captivity. Whew. I thank you, everybody, for taking the time to listen to this song. I do enjoy sharing the word of God with everybody. Whew. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, everyone. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is going to be coming back. And when he does, his sheep will be called up into the clouds with him. And those left behind will face his wrath, his judgment. And I don't want to see anyone go through that. But unfortunately, it's not what I want. It's his will be done. Is what God has already proclaimed will happen. It's time to repent of our sins, everyone. It's time to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. To understand his work on the cross and his work when he resurrected three days later. He did all that for us. He became a curse for us. He became the ultimate sacrifice. For us to give us grace mercy forgiveness that none of us deserve none of us but out of his love for us he chooses to give if we seek it's time to come to know who our Heavenly Father is and what he's continually done for man kind from the beginning of time I love you guys.
Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.